I'm glad you asked that because there was a misconception that actually disturbed me. Uh, a fellow in the New York Times said uh, Gary had done these uh, extra features to apologize in some sense. And I honestly don't have trouble apologizing. I, I didn't know what the guy was talking about. Um, purely, I thought uh, <clears throat> if I'm going to do DVD extras for Larry Sanders, the DVD extras have to go somewhere further than the show went, period. The only thing that interested me about those extras was going and talking to those people so intimately, like Tom Petty, and leaving the camera roll. It's way too indulgent to be on TV, but for a DVD extra, sure, and see what people are like. And uh, that's it. That's reality television. It makes reality television look very planned. I don't think anybody lost weight in any of those. We didn't weigh anybody and say, great, you lost 10 more pounds. No one had to sing. You know, you know I thought about doing a show called I've Got Talent. And then each week the judges can just go fuck themselves. That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> so That's the new spin, I think, on that <laughs> formula. I had called Ricky to say, do you want to uh, be one of the people that I interview, that I talk to the way I talk to everybody else on the DVD, which is a straight on very low-keyed, not on, intimate discussion. And he said, absolutely, and would you do then do my BBC special? And I said, uh, sure. Uh, and um, exactly what happened is, um, it was in this house, and I was in that room, and I was, we were, the producers of the DVD were told to tell the BBC people we're doing the DVD interview first because that's the one you want to do that's low key. You can't get up and then go down, but you can go down and then come up. Uh -huh. And so when I walked into the kitchen, I realized that these producers were not capable of going from that room to that room and saying, we're doing the DVDs first. It was beyond my comprehension at this point that someone still isn't kind of doing the simplest communication thing and how people get confused and intimidated, and so uh, we were doing two different shows. I walked in, and he was doing the BBC show first, so he was, do he was very up and doing just what he should be for a broad BBC interview with me. And I had come in, surprised the cameras were there, and uh, ready to talk to him on a very intimate, low level, and I wasn't thrown because um, I had already been thrown by, I was thrown by the fact that only that the producers couldn't have gotten that simple message through. I went, this is bizarre. Now, now is this meant to be? Is this meant to be? Is this some situation that's meant to be to learn or discover something? Because this is just too odd. The man's doing his BBC show when, when I'm going to go down and do this. And I could have said, uh, a minute into the room, oh, we're doing, you didn't get the message that we're doing this. And so it was at that juncture that I thought, well, let's see if I can get him the signal to bring it down so I can talk to him. And it's probably is unfair to him without him having the knowledge that that's what I'm doing. It would be confusing. Uh, and I didn't think it would, uh, I knew that it was going to be confused. I was interested to see what would happen. And um, in hindsight, you see something really happened. I'll be damned if something didn't really happen. And I have expressed to him clearly that he should have been informed, and, uh, and really, I couldn't believe they didn't inform him. I, and this is absolutely true, and I'm shocked as I sit here. I can't believe it. And then I just made the decision, okay, let me see if I can bring him down. And that looked like, that's why everybody's confused about that interview, because we're each doing our own show, which is then fascinating, but inappropriate uh, 
uh, for, for, for him and, um, and uh, yet I've never seen him better than he is now. And um, when he just did the uh, Golden Globes and he kind of went out on a limb there and I mean, I saw him within an hour of that, and I said, let's go through it. You did this, 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 this. That's why you did it, and so it's a notable risk. I said, I would say it was a notable risk. Uh, and uh, uh, he gets better every day, every year. He gets better. Uh, um, that's it. I mean, um, I would say... Uh, in one sense, I wish we had stopped and, and gotten on the same track, but on the other hand, it's fascinating, but it was painful for probably, it was painful and odd for both and resulted in this crazy thing, but I'll be damned if something didn't happen. And, um, you know, I love the guy for sticking to his game, and then I stuck to mine, and it was, you know... an experiment.